I think Coach Calipari's probably got the team that, that's advertised for sure, and, and uh, we like to, to hang our hats on playing defense, and and, uh, and obviously, you know, we, we turn it over about as much as, as, as we do in about a week's worth of practice against ourselves, and and we just handed it to them, and, and they forced it. You know, you can't simulate their length and quickness uh, on defense, and we're going to have a lot of fun this year with their team. And he's got those, you know, I said this is to our team and to our staff, it's amazing. You know, I told him, coach, before the game um, that he, he makes young kids play old really fast. He is a special coach. I, I know everybody appreciates who he is, but he's a special coach and it's a special gift to hold the kids accountable and play defense like that and to get them to buy in and play for the team doesn't happen in these kids' generation to do that. They live in college like they have been. No, no disrespect to my guys right here. But, but to play for each other and play defense like that uh, is a special talent. And I hope everybody, everybody appreciates uh, what he does with those team, with his kids, because it's really, really good. But we appreciate being here. And I'm just disappointed in our guys. I thought we shot a good percentage, and, and I thought we rebounded pretty good. We just, just allowed a lot of transition points where it's hard to guard the basket when we're not there. And that's a credit to them. How different is Kentucky from last year? You know, they're late, really. You know, having Bam Bam inside. Um, you know, Euless, I thought Euless was one of the greatest college point guards ever. And, and just he, he even knew where the, the, the referees were, the ball boys and everybody else on the court. He was unbelievable how he could dominate a game and make others better. But I think De'Aaron uh, uh, and Monk, with their speed and quickness and athleticism, and I told Briscoe during the game, I said, dude, you've gotten so much better. Because you, you can guard Briscoe in the paint with your arms behind your back, and you can't do that anymore. But those three cats on the perimeter, ooh, you know, you got to guard them. And, and, and you know, it, it, they're just really, really good. I mean, those those three guys on the perimeter. And then Willis is a perfect stretch four for their team. And then Humphreys has gotten better, and, and, and Bam Bam inside. And I mean, they just, they just keep. You know, and the, and the, uh, the other kid, uh, well, I don't know very well at all, but uh, uh, I mean, Hawkins has 10 and a half. Uh, not Hawkins, but, but uh, uh, Gabriel has 10 and a half. And, and who do you, we don't have anybody guard. Leon's our best chance to guard him. And, and he's going back and forth between Coach Cowles is toying with us. Him and, and Willis both have 20. And I mean, we, we don't know who to guard him with, either one of them. And, the, the other freshman big kid inside who looks like he's about seven foot two. I mean, he's going to be so good. He doesn't know who to play. Just pick it. You know, I guess whoever was the best at, at, at shoot around today. That's who he plays. He's got so many to choose from. Maybe you just answered the question, but you got banned in foul trouble early. Uh, how do you think that they handled the, the foul trouble? Uh, I didn't realize he was in foul trouble. I knew I knew my big kid inside Holyfield was couldn't play, and that really affected us. You know, I don't try to coach somebody else's team. I'm not that good enough, good as a coach. I mean, I'm just, I just try to focus on what we can do for our team and and, uh, and do the best I can for my kids, because I know they try really, really hard, and I appreciate their effort. Uh, but, you know, like I said, Willis and, 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 and uh, uh, Wayne, you know, went for 20. And obviously, we didn't do a good job with, with, with Bam not being in the game, because for us, Speed and quickness is, is our is, is the only advantage that we might even think about having inside, and you know obviously we were very successful there. Kyle, yeah. how do you explain uh, how you guys held your own on the boards, especially on the offensive? Well, we missed a lot of shots here. I mean, we just you know, and with these guys right here, I mean, you know, Leon is is, is a superior athlete, speed and quickness, and. You know, we're playing, and we'll, we'll, most people say the four, but I mean, he's just a big guard, really. But he's got some toughness about him, and he's hard to block out on the perimeter when he starts running in there. I mean, I, I think, you know, I had double double tonight, and I expect that out of him, you know, from the perimeter. And, and if we could just get a shot up, we were okay on offense. It's just the 30 times or whatever, we, we handed it to him and decided to drive it when there was nobody there. Those, those 30 possessions during the game, you know, we weren't very good. If we could just take those out, you know, I play again. But unfortunately, those are part of the game, and uh, you know we can't. And we just went a little. You know, they make you play one on one. Their speed and quickness shrinks that court. 
I'm standing out there. I'm, you know, I've been out here a few times. I've never seen that court look so small as it did today. Whew. That thing, I don't know if it's 94 feet by 50 or whatever it is, that thing looked about 64 by about 20. And I don't know if it's because I was, I'm fortunate enough to move over about 32 inches in seats, but I've never seen that court look so small as it did tonight, as long as, it, as those jokers were. You got some for these guys? I thought these guys played really hard, just so you guys know. For for a brand new team with bringing nine guys that never played Division One basketball and trying to fit them in together. I thought Dallas playing a new position as a seniors won 90 games the first three years or whatever. And Leon was taking a new role. I thought our kids really tried hard. and uh, I'm pretty proud of them coming in this kind of environment. Me throwing them in there, doing no favors. I thought they did pretty good. You know, Can you ago. Did either player talk about just what the atmosphere was like to play in, what it was like out there? Oh, I thought the atmosphere was pretty great. You know, this is our first time, first game of the season, you know, in Kentucky. But, I mean, we were all prepared. And we just felt good about it. We were confident. I don't think anyone on our team was nervous. We were ready to play. And it was just a fun time. You know, Coach told us to just go out there, play hard, and, and enjoy the moment while we were here. Yeah, just uh Add on to what Leon said, it's a great environment. The arena is it's a beautiful arena. Fans are, are great here at Kentucky. They show a lot of support, a lot of love for their for the uh, team and their players. So yeah, it's a, it was it was a really good environment. Um, like I said, first game of the year, a lot of new guys. So we just had to, we just had to embrace it, enjoy the moment. That's what we wanted to do: is go out here and have fun. That's why we play this game. We play this game to have fun. Man. If you're not playing to have fun, there's no reason for us to be playing. Coach Kelly. Coach Yes, sir. Um, where do you think your team is and how difficult is it to uh, be in a position to have and then eight new players on your team? You no, know, I, honestly, I, I don't know where we are. Uh, you know, every day is a new day for us. I mean, we, you know, we went from having eight suit out in our, in our exhibition game the other night to I looked down there and gosh, my, there was a, a bunch of dudes who, who we've never even had practice. You know, Ty Charles, who, uh, his practice like three days in the last six weeks, who's our leading returning scorer. And, and I just put him out there. And I told the team in the locker room, I said, hey, you give us confidence. And he was like one for seven with I know, seven turnovers or something, or, you know, some ridiculous. Or that, that, That's not who he is. He's he or one of these guys have to be player of the year in our league for us to be successful. And they did a great job. You know, there's no film on, current film on him this year, because he hadn't played. He's just practiced one day before this week and then got in this week. But, you know, I, I know them as people as I've been here seven and a half months. And they're great kids. And I know they're going to fight. And they're going to quit on anybody that we have. And they represent our school the right way. And I know that I get in an alley and I take any one of them that I have. All eight, eight new ones and those five guys that stayed with us. And that's the thing that I trust with them. And I believe when we get to the first of the year and we start our league play, we're going to look back on this game right here and we're going to draw from it. And because I don't think that we're going to have a De'Aaron Fox out there on that point. What do you think, Dallas? <laughs> Dallas, tried, Dallas tried to tell me he was, that there was a guy in our league that was, that was as good as De'Aaron Fox. And I just let him go. I want him to think that. You still think that, Dallas? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Jay, no. Jay no, he didn't. Yeah. But, but I let him go because I want him to be confident. I want our guys to be confident because um, that's how they get good. And we're going to gain a lot of confidence from this, even though we didn't play our, our best. But Kentucky had so much to do with that. Okay. And we'll, we'll be good from it. Thank you. Thanks.